Hello everyone, welcome to our pre-fall musical. This is an informal mini recital where I share some of my students' playings and also take a moment to reflect on their musical growth over this past school year. It was a challenging but fruitful year. We all got used to virtual learning, and since most of the competitions, musical exams, and recitals were held online, my students get to practice making video recordings at home, and they become very good at it. Especially my older students, I noticed they have developed a more finely tuned ear in the process. We'll kick off today's program with two young beginners. They were both taking online lessons right from the beginning. One has played for 10 months, and then the other has played for three months. I want to give a big round of applause to their parents for their consistent support on daily practice, weekly lessons, and filming videos. Like I always say, piano lessons are a teamwork. The parents really played a big role in the early musical studies. When I see these two young girls make solid progress week after week, I know their parents must have put in a lot of time and effort. Of course, it wasn't always smooth and easy, but with the help of their parents, these two girls have managed to overcome every hurdle in their way. They have absolutely exceeded my expectations. My name is Lila and I'm six years old. on the program is Isabella, and she will play a Chopin waltz. Isabella just started playing more and more of Chopin this year, and she loves it. She naturally has a very good sense of phrasing, which help her to achieve beautiful melodic lines. And her musical sensitivity also help her to bring out the elegance of waltz. By the way, this B minor waltz has two versions, and she is playing the shorter one without a contrasting middle section. It's always tricky to teach rubato to younger students, but I think it's important to introduce the idea to them and let them experiment with timing. 
At first, it might feel strange to them not to follow the rhythm strictly. But gradually, they will get the hang of it and learn to play with more freedom. My name is Isabella, I'm 10 years old, and I'm going to be playing Waltz in B minor by Chopin. <laughs> Coming up, we have a stormy and exciting piece. This is Rachmaninoff, Moment Musical, Op. 16, No. 4, played by Zhang Yuan, who's a 15-year-old high school student. Even though it's a short piece, it's very demanding technically. The strength, power, and endurance Zhang demonstrated in his performance have absolutely blown me away. It's a huge step up for him, and I'm so proud of his accomplishment this year.
Next on the program, you're going to hear my 13-year-old student, Vicky, playing the first three variations from Robert Schumann's Variations on the Name A Big, opus number one. A Big, translated in German musical notes, are A, B flat, E, G, and G. So the composer wrote the entire piece based on this motif. This piece really showcased Schumann's fresh and unique approach to the form of theme and variations. This is no doubt a big piece for any teenage student, not only because of its high technical demand, but also the large scope of its musical content. There are so many details that need to be taken care of, and so much contrast in character, sound, and texture. I think Vicky's playful and sparkling personality suits this piece really well, and her dazzling technique also enables her to freely express herself. By the way, she's still working on the finale, the last part in the piece, but I think it's such a fun piece to be included in the program, even if it's still work in progress. Thank you. 
The next piece is my all-time favorite by Johannes Brahms, another German composer of the Romantic period. Brahms is best known for his larger compositions such as symphonies, concerti, chamber music, and requiem. Many people might not know he's also a master of writing exquisite and intimate piano pieces. This intermezzo in A major, Opus 118 No. 2, is the perfect example. Like many of Brahms' late piano works, this piece has an introverted and retrospective quality to it. It takes great sensitivity and thoughtfulness to convey those deep emotions. As a 15-year-old, Teddy's performance really showed his refined taste and deep understanding of the piece. I am so impressed by his mature performance.
but not least, my 16-year-old student Luke brings us Chopin Ballade No. 4. This piece is the most complex of all four ballads by Chopin, and I think this performance marked another milestone for Luke. I've known this young man since he was nine. His talent is undeniable, but he also has the best work ethic I've ever seen on a student. He never backed down from a challenge, never gave up in a stressful situation, and never complained about anything. Always, always give his best. When I work with a student like him, I'm motivated by his passion for music, his dedication, hard work, and resilience. Let's just all enjoy his music now.
for joining our musical. I hope you enjoyed our program. The new school year has just started. I'm looking forward to more fantastic music from my wonderful students. Here, I want to give my heartfelt thanks to every parent. Your constant support and encouragement are the best gift for your children. Take care, everyone, and enjoy the beautiful fall season. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.